The world we live in is confronted with extreme challenges. Energy demand is expected to grow 25% by 2030. Carbon dioxide levels will continue to rise as the global economy grows. Meeting energy demands while reducing CO2 is a challenge taken on by the UAE as a responsible and diversified energy leader. Two of its most respected authorities in their field of expertise have teamed up to lead the way. ADNOC, or Abu Dhabi National Oil Company, is an integrated oil and gas industrial group active in exploration and production, refining and processing, chemicals and petrochemicals, and transportation and distribution. Fundamentally, this project is going to reduce our carbon emissions, we're going to liberate more hydrocarbon gases needed for the power sector, and we're going to enhance our recovery that will extend the life of Abu Dhabi fields. Mazda, Abu Dhabi's renewable energy and clean technology company, specializes in some of the world's most sophisticated projects. We believe this project will contribute greatly to Abu Dhabi clean energy goals and affirm our status as a leading developer of carbon capture technology. Together, these partners forged an innovative partnership to turn harmful CO2 emissions into a valuable resource to reduce the UAE's environmental footprint. The joint venture between Adnok and Mazda is the first company mandated to do commercial scale projects in carbon capture, uh, utilization and storage. Steel production, one of the pillars of our modern industrialized world, is also a major contributor of greenhouse gas emissions and global warming. What if we could capture this harmful gas and use it for our benefit? As demand for oil and gas grows and exploration becomes more challenging, extending the life of our reservoirs using enhanced oil recovery or EOR is a necessity. Typically, water, natural gas or chemicals are injected to liberate the remaining oil. But what if we could use CO2 instead? Matching supply and demand is what this CCUS project is all about. CCS, or carbon capture and storage, is not new, but has never really taken off due to the lack of a good business case. On the other hand, using naturally occurring CO2 for EOR is well proven around the world and locally as demonstrated in a recent pilot project. It's combining these two concepts, using captured CO2 for EOR in an economically viable manner, while storing the CO2, that makes perfect sense. As a byproduct of its steelmaking process, a waste CO2 stream, currently being vented to the environment, is collected from the Emirates Steel 1 and 2 plants for use. The collected CO2, at just over atmospheric pressure, is transferred to the newly built compression and dehydration facility. First, the CO2 stream is processed through a low-pressure compression train. This includes an integrally geared gas compressor, gas scrubbers for water knockout and heat exchangers for after cooling. Following the sixth stage, the CO2 gas, now at 40 bar, is dehydrated through a molecular sieve dehydration package to reduce the water content to less than 20 pounds per million standard cubic feet. Dehydration of the CO2 stream is essential to avoid any free water dropout and corrosion. The dry CO2 gas stream is now compressed to 238 bar through the high-pressure compression train which includes a reciprocating compressor and heat exchangers for after cooling. Above 90 bar, the CO2 transitions from gas to dense phase, reducing the costs of long-distance pipeline transport. The dense phase CO2 is metered through a Coriolis mass transfer meter, where the stream composition is continuously monitored to ensure both quantity and quality of the export CO2. The CO2 is now transported to one of ADNOC's oil fields via a buried 8-inch transmission pipeline. This 43-kilometer carbon steel pipeline was designed and installed in accordance with the industry's best practices for remote operation and monitoring. On receipt, the CO2 is injected into the oil reservoir, where it's used for enhanced oil recovery, EOR. EOR requires that the CO2 is injected deep underground into the oil-bearing layers. Here, the CO2 forms a miscible solution with the oil in the rocks while maintaining reservoir pressure and therefore stimulating additional oil production. The produced oil is recovered via traditional surface facilities. The CO2 is separated and re-injected, ensuring that the CO2 is permanently sequestered. This reduces our carbon footprint and protects the environment. The produced oil is exported to the market, contributing to a sustainable economy. This joint venture with ADNOC is a clear demonstration of our commitment to reducing CO2 emissions, which reinforces the UAE's position as a responsible and true energy leader. The success of this project 
will definitely be a catalyst for similar projects in the UAE and across the region.